A photographic flash is a real handy tool for photographers, uh, but they can be kind of intimidating because you can't see the light. And uh, two of the things that uh, are most important is the size of the light is very small but very intense. And that creates very harsh shadows. And the color of the light, the color of the light by default is daylight, but sometimes you're shooting in situations where it's not daylight. So if you can deal with those two situations, enlarge the light and change the color of it, you're well on your way to using the flash to its maximum capability. We recently introduced what we call our um, starter kit. The starter kit contains three very important LumaQuest items. Okay? The original pocket bouncer, our new ultra strap, and our F extra gel holder. Okay? The original pocket bouncer, get the instructions out of the way here, comes with self-adhesive Velcro, but you don't necessarily need to use this Velcro, although you can just put it directly on the flash. But in this case, I'm going to take the Velcro off, put it aside, and use what a lot of people prefer, which is our new Ultra Strap. The Ultra Strap is the clearly the most secure, non-adhesive uh, attachment strap in the market. You just put it on the flash like this, hold it nice and tight, bear it around like that. And it's on there nice and tight with three pounds of pressure pulling it against the flash. And notice that I had the tab end up like this. I had the tab end up at one of the corners, it doesn't really matter which one, so that it doesn't interfere with the attachment of the, flat, of the accessory. So I just attach the pocket bouncer like this. And now the pocket bouncer is securely attached at a 45 degree angle, so it's actually pointed right at you right now. And you notice it's about four or five times the size of the flash itself, and so it's gonna give you much softer light. So there you're solving that problem, or helping to solve that problem right there. But now let's say you're in an environment in which it's not daylight, it's say tungsten or uh, 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 fluorescent or some other color, or you just want to theatrically color the light. Then you can use our F extra. It's a kit that holds eight different gels. Okay, it holds uh, three uh, theatrical gels: yellow, blue, and red. And also holds gels that turn the flash into tungsten or fluorescent. So that what you can do is you. I'm just going to take this off. Attach this directly to the flash. Again, directly to the. Oops, forgot. It's it's got Velcro on it too. So I don't want to use this Velcro. I think I'll put it aside. Okay. Now I'm going to just attach this directly to the ultra strap. Okay, now what I'd be doing is I'd be turning this flash into a red source of light. Or I could do any of those other colors we talked about. And you'll notice that there's Velcro on every side here, so I can attach any LumaQuest accessory to it. So in this case, I'll be enlarging the light, softening the shadows, and turning it red. But if I was in a, say, a fluorescent environment, I'd put a green gel in there, I'd turn the flash into essentially fluorescent light, I'd set the camera on, on fluorescent, and then the, and then the uh, fill flash that's, that, I'm, that I'm, I'm providing is the same color basically as the available light. Do the same thing with the tungsten light. I would put the orange gels in there, set the camera on tungsten, and then the uh, flash is essentially a tungsten flash. So it gives you all that flexibility. So you can change the color of the, of the flash and the size of the flash, which helps solve two problems. A couple of little other issues here. You'll notice that these are considerably longer than this. I trimmed it so that it would be fit the size of the flash that I was using. You might be using a bigger flash, which is why we provide them that size. Another thing is that is that it's a real snug fit. And so what I do is I nip, just, just barely nip the edge off of here so it gives me a nice snug fit for the gels so that when I put them on there like that, uh, forward, when I put them on there like that, there's no white light leaking through the side. But there is a gap 
you'll notice, of about an eighth of an inch under here, which keeps the gel from touching the flash, which allows it to ventilate. So there's a, there it is, a small kit, which is three simple pieces that enables you to do two of the most important things to, uh, in flash photography. Change the color of the light to match the ambient light you have, or use it for uh, special effects, and enlarge the light to soften the shadows. It's very simple, great way to start uh, to get yourself into flash photography.